I finally found the truth about how to find peace in Christ. A lot of times during our life, our peace is rocked by our circumstances and just by other people that bring a lot of drama to the table. But at the end of the day, we still need to find a solid way to protect our peace and <clears throat> furthermore protect our, our perfect peace. But first we have to learn how to develop perfect peace and that's what I'll be talking about today on Age to Age. Hey guys, I'm back with you. So um, I just wanted to talk to you about the truth behind uh, finding peace in Christ. And finding peace is as difficult as it is, let alone finding peace in Christ. But it makes it ten times more difficult when we don't really know what we're looking for. What is peace? What does peace feel like? And how do we get to the point of what's called perfect peace? And uh, you know. Recently, there's just been a lot of changes going on in my life that um, have revealed to me where that peace is. And I'll, I'll go into one thing, for example, uh, recently I just found out that my daughter's mom, her and I split up years ago, and um, she is wanting to uh, you know, move out of state, unfortunately. And we've been talking about that, and you know, I, I do have a right to say no. We have, you know, orders to court and stuff like that. But she actually has a legitimate, legitimate reason to move out of the state. But instead of like taking me to court to move out of state, she's kindly asking for my blessing. And um, as great as that is, and she's willing to accommodate and uh, do the transitions back and forth between states. It still actually really saddens me because, you know, I've worked so hard to uh, get, you know, rights, you know, to my daughter and, and share custody and things of that nature. And I'm not going to say too much on the video, um, just in case, but um, it, it just, it just saddens me that it, it seems like there's always still going to be a tough decision to make in regards to what I have to do to stay in my daughter's life. I mean, it's tough enough as it is being a parent, but, um, it makes it even tougher when I have to fight to be her parent. Uh, even... Sorry, that was my phone. Um, even when I'm not doing anything wrong, and in this point in time, it's very, very difficult to uh, find that place of peace. But what what I've learned during this trial is that uh, peace and serenity is found in patience and surrender. And what this, what this situation takes at this moment is definitely surrendering to God. But what surrendering to God means is surrendering to what's happening. Not putting up so much resistance that it causes conflict in the situation. But allowing peace to flow like a river. I'm back in my home in Santan Valley and I took a couple hours to kind of just sleep on my my thoughts about what's going on with me and um, kind of get a more understanding of you know, how we can find peace in Christ. And uh, a couple things work for me is what I call observation. Um, it's like meditation, but instead of listening for your own thoughts and focusing on yourself and your, your body and your breathing, you're just being still and knowing God and listening for God's voice. And it's important to know what God sounds like. And I can talk about that in another video. Um, I'll 
leave some sort of a, a card up there um, for that when I do uh, post another video about it. So just be on the lookout for that. But, um, you know, I realized that I, I just had a lot of anxiety about my situation earlier. And an anxiety attack is one of the devil's best weapons that he can use against us because it, it just really throws us off our spiritual game. And if you deal with anxiety at a high level like I do, um, then it's, it's a lot easier for the devil to persuade us to worry about things that we really have a lot of control over. Now that I think about it, peace and quiet don't always go hand in hand. You can still have peace in your life and yet still have noise surrounding you. And all anxiety is, is just disproportionate noise that's being channeled into your life. And I, I truly believe that just in this moment in my life right now, there's just a lot of noise going on. And when I thought there was going to be quiet, when I thought there was going to be calm to the storm, the storm is now starting to stir back up. But I need not to have my peace and serenity disturbed. So whenever anxiety is at work in your life, just remember two things. Peace is like a river. It has a strong current, but if you go with the current instead of against it, it'll take you to an unimaginable, oh, excuse me, unimaginable places in your life. And if you try to go against the current, then it's going to feel like resistance and pressure and um, just a, a all-out battle in your life. Uh, peace can either work for you if, and, and take you to places if you go with the current, or it can work against you in, in a different form. Uh, I believe peace is uh, uh, is a has its own path, and we have to learn what that path is, and it goes its in, in its own direction. And if we're going against that direction, then we're not really experiencing peace the way that it's meant to be experienced. And the second thing to remember is a lot of times in the, the church world, we, we hear about uh, surrendering to God. And when we hear the word surrender, we think of obedience and uh, not being able to make the choices that we need to make in our life to better our life and, and not having the freedom to simply have fun. But what surrendering to God means for me is surrendering to what's happening. And that means just letting go of the situation and letting God handle it. That's when, if you ever heard the phrase, let go and let God, that's exactly what that means. In reality, you're taking the pressure off of you when you surrender. So if you feel like you got value in my content, make sure you smash that subscribe button to follow more of my content and also hit the like button as well. It helps YouTube get my content out there. And tell me how you find peace in Christ in your life. What helps you find peace? Make sure you leave a comment below as well. Alrighty, until next time.